Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a Blender tutorial on how to create an explosive barrel. So what you're going to want to do first is open up Blender, hit new file, general, and then with this cube, press X and delete it. Then let's press Shift A, go into mesh, and go into cylinder, as this will be the perfect shape for our barrel. Now I've already got some measurements in, so what you're going to want to do is press N, go to item up here, and go to the dimensions down here. So for the radius, I've got X and Y, so let's hold X, go down to Y, and it's 57 centimeters, and then for the height of it, so Z, I've got 85 centimeters. So let's press period key to just focus in on this, and this is the perfect base shape for it. So I'm also just gonna get a reference image, so let's go Shift A, go down to image, reference, and then find the image that you want. Mine's exploding barrel with PNG, and let's just reset the rotation of this to zero, and then press R, X, 90 to rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees. Then press 1 to get into this view, press G, X to move it on the x-axis, and then just scale it down to the perfect size, like so. So now what we're going to do is select the barrel again, press Tab to go into edit mode, and then Control r to make a loop cut, and then scroll up one, and then there you have two lines like that to get the barrel details like so. Press left click and left click again and there you are. Again you can just leave it as this so just the cylinder like that but I'm going to add in these more details here as it just adds something extra to the model. Go back into edit mode press by pressing tab and then you have these lines here and then I'm also going to make the other lines underneath so I can expand it out. So just do more loop cuts by pressing ctrl r, left click, move it up there, give yourself a bit of space in between, control R and move it down to here. And there you are, you have those like that. Now that's up in the top left, let's go to the face select and then just select all these faces. So once you've got them all selected, what you want to do is E to extrude it, but just a tiny bit so you can't really tell, and then S to scale them up, just to scale it out like so, not too much. Press tab to go back into object mode, right click, shade smooth, and there you are. Again, you can add more lines like that, but for now I think this is good. And then what you're going to want to do is go on the right here, go down to the texture one, press new, on base color press the circle to the right, go down to image texture, and then we're going to import a texture which I have linked down in the description below. So once you've got that texture, just go on open, find it, and then open it up like so and then go in the texture view up in the top right up here. And as you can see, as of now, it doesn't look like an explosive barrel and that's because we haven't unwrapped the texture. So click on the barrel again, press Control A, apply, rotation scale, and then go tab into edit mode, press A to select all, and U and unwrap. And let's go up into the UV editing tab up here, zoom out, and then what you're gonna wanna do is just select the two circles down at the bottom. Well actually no, let's just select them all, press G, move them up and then select the two circles at the bottom make sure you select all of it and only those and G to move them down and use R to rotate and then use S to scale them down and what you want to basically do is just get them so they fit perfectly on the two circles in the texture I think that'll be good and now let's select the rest of it move it down with G rotate it with 90 degrees with R type 90 and move it down so it fits perfectly on here. And then that should be good, so let's go back into layout, and as you can see, that has worked perfectly. So go into one to go back into this view. I'm just gonna rotate it on the z-axis to get it to face forward, like so, and there you go. That's a base explosive barrel done. So what we can do is then delete our reference image by clicking on it, pressing X, find the light, make sure it's in a good spot. So I'm actually just gonna move it along here like this. If you want this view, go on the left over here, click that one, and just move it to where you think it's good, like that. Now I'm gonna move the camera. So I open the top right tabs here, go to view, and then lock camera to view. You're gonna to wanna to tick that, press zero to go to the camera view, and then you can just move the camera like you would normal controls, like so. And then press zero again to go out of the camera view. I'm just gonna disable it in the viewport so I can just see clearly like that. And then let's go to the render properties over the right here, change it to cycles, and I think 120 samples will be good. Change it from CPU to GPU complete, uh, compute, sorry. And then press F12 to render it. And there you go, as you can see, we now have very quickly made 
an explosive barrel in under 15 minutes. And if you want to add other stuff to the scene, that's easy. So if you want just a plain background, so shift A, mesh, plane, rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees, and then just move it back a bit on the Y. And you can change it to whatever color you like. Go in zero to make sure that it covers the whole screen. So S, X to scale on the X axis. And move it down a bit more on the Z. There we go, that's perfect. Now we can just set this to a nice blue to be a nice sky color, like so. And if you want to add a ground as well, same thing, just get a plane, move it down on the Z axis, go to one to make sure you get it perfectly, like so. And then scale it and just change it to the color or texture that you like. So I'm just going to go into the Blender Kit, which if you don't have, you go into Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, search for Blender Kit, and make sure that you have it ticked. And it should add some nice free blenders, textures. So let's go Show Asset Bar, and then you can go down here to Ground, like so. Wait for them to load, and here you have some nice free textures that you can use. So I'm just going to use some gravel. And there we go, once it's loaded, again, you might need to just do the same thing we did with the barrel and UV unwrap it. So Control A, apply rotation scale, tab A, U, unwrap. It should fix it a bit and go to UV editing, select it, and then you just need to mess about and see if you need to scale it up or down to see what it looks like. And then you just keep doing it till you get the perfect one for you. I think that's good. Maybe just a bit smaller. Yep. So if I go back here, press F12 to render it. And then we should see we have a nice barrel and scene. So there you go, it's rend fully rendered. Now obviously the scene doesn't look great, but that's not what we're focusing on. We're just focusing on the main barrel here. And so if you want to save this, you just go to image, save as, and you can save it wherever you want. So I'm just going to do it in the YouTube folder that I've made. So I'll just call it explosive barrel dot png. There we go. And there we go, perfect. So that is how you make an explosive barrel in Blender in under 10 minutes. And in the next episodes, I'll show you how to export it into Unreal Engine and then even how to make it a working explosive barrel in your game. So when you shoot it, it can explode. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.